I can't believe it's the monkeypox season already. I haven't even taken down my climate change decorations. And I'd only got over the COVID, not to mention the Ukraine mania. Well, it's the mother of all talk shows, and we're going to be discussing many of these issues. And more, because it's an hour and a half tonight, more callers, more guests, and it's the callers that choose the subjects rather than the other way around. And we've got a poll running. Should Prime Minister Boris Johnson be on the ballot paper for, well, the new Prime Minister? After all, he was overthrown in a coup, an anti-democratic coup, actually. And when you see the state of their second order, you wonder why they bothered. Slippery, fishy, rishy, sunak and missus untrustworthy, who dresses up in a dead woman's clothes but is not fit to carry her handbag. Thousands of people have besieged the Conservative Party headquarters with the demand that Boris Johnson be on the ballot paper. Do you agree? Yes or no? You can vote on my Twitter feed, on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe and on my Telegram channel, t.me forward slash George Galloway. We'll be talking to the indefatigable voice of the front line, Gonzalo Lira, in the war zone, in the wars, a man who was disappeared and whom we all feared the worst for. He's back and he's talking to you on the mother of all talk shows. And another man who was disappeared, Chris Williamson, the former member of parliament, Corbyn loyalist who was in a modern day Dreyfus affair, deconstructed, destroyed, annihilated. I watched it in real time and almost nobody lifted a finger to help him, including the people that he'd spent the last decade campaigning with and for. It's all coming up on the mother of all talk shows over the next hour and a half. Who knows, maybe next week or the week after that, we'll be back to the full three hours. But we've got a lot of people on holiday and I myself am still on vacation. Even though the magic of television places me squarely in the heart of the empire in London. But I'm not really. They say the camera never lies, but actually it lies all the time. Take a look, for example, at the white phosphorus attack on the people of Donetsk, the civilian people of Donetsk. Just last night, there are idiots on YouTube that think it was the Russians that were firing it on their own people. Anyway, fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy ride because this is the mother of all talk shows.